Hello traders, welcome back to a quick Sierra chart tutorial in the ongoing series. If you haven't checked all the other videos, look at the pinned comment for my Sierra chart playlist where I have dozens of guides just like this to help you uh, understand the platform better. So this is going to be a video going over the uh, function to center charts automatically and also we're going to talk about the right edge fill space tool which is going to be very tied in with the centering concept okay so this is my 3000 tick chart in footprint this is my 3000 tick chart that i use and you've seen it if you checked out my live streams or other videos this is my favorite chart to use for the es futures market and this is the same chart on the footprint okay and remember i use a volume by delta footprint not a bit by ask all this templates very similar to this ones i have available on my web store as well so you can go check out sierracharttemplates.com i'm gonna pin that below as well so first let's talk about the lock fill space function okay there's two ways to get to this i have it set on my shortcut bar if i right click you can see right here it says lock fill space i have a video on uh, shortcuts and toolbars as well if you want to check it or you can go to the chart menu on top here and you can see it says lock fill space and i have it marked off enable okay what that means is if i start scrolling my chart to the right you can see that the candlesticks start disappearing after a certain point on the chart that is because i have it locked right there and if you look at the bottom right corner here you can see there is a little number it says 46 l e okay the 46 just refers to the spacing of the candlesticks so if i start using my scroll wheel on the mouse you can see the number grows or gets smaller as i expand and contract the chart the l means that i have the lock fill space enabled if i right click and i take it off you can see the l disappears if i put it on again the e just means that i have evening use evening sessions enabled okay but that's not really related to this video okay and also it is green if it's green that means that we are looking at the present charts but if i take this chart and drag it to the front you can see that becomes red because we're looking at the past so i can scroll back to the front or i just print press the end button on the mouse and that's going to take me back to the present and it gets green again okay so if i take off the lock fill space i can just move the chart however i want if i want a bigger lock space i could even bring it over here i can lock it and now every new candle that forms is just gonna basically stop right here and all the new candlesticks are going to start pushing everything to the left of the chart. And you can see if I drag the chart now, everything is going to disappear exactly at the point where I locked the screen, okay? The reason I like the lock, like I said, is because if I'm just going to have this chart, um, you know, like when I live stream and I just have this chart running on its own, I wanted to always show the last candlestick that I have right here on the right edge, okay? So that is the lock fill space function, and you can use this on any charts. I could even go to this one. I don't have anything locked, so you can see I can move it like I want. But, you know, if I wanted to lock here, if I just scroll, you can see everything just starts disappearing from that point and every new candle that comes up is going to push everything back one space but i normally only use lock fill space on footprints or for example on my book map chart as well this is like a heat map style chart 
This is also available on my web store. If I push it, you can see it disappears, okay? So that is the lock fill space. Now let's talk about the auto centering. That is very easy. You're just going to put your mouse over the price scale on the right side. Right click and you're going to go to scale settings. This is going to bring this menu and you can see you have different options for the scale range. So in this case, I'm going to just set it is going to be at a constant range. This range number, this is just going to vary depending on how uh, expanded or contracted you have the scale. If I, if you right click, you can see I have it on range. If it was on move, I just move it up and down and it's a constant range. If I have it unlocked, I cannot move it at all. I like to have it in range because that's going to let me expand and contract it, okay? But basically, if we go back to scale settings, this range number is just going to be basically how expanded or contracted your range is. So this is not really relevant. What's most important is this constant range scale mode. If I have it under manual mode, then the chart is simply going to stay where it is always. And this is how I have it like on my hourly tick charts, etc. But when I'm on a uh, chart that I want recentered always like the footprint then I'll go to constant range and I like to use this option that you see right here that is called recenter to the last price on every update if I put manual mode on you can see just wherever I leave the chart is just gonna stay there okay you can always double click the price scale and it'll recenter it, but the price is just going to keep moving and the chart is going to stay where it is now. So if we go to scale settings, I like to put recenter to last price on every update. Okay. And now you can see every time the chart moves, it's automatically readjusting itself to be at the center. If I grab the chart and I drag it down, for example, it's going to stay centered wherever I just left the chart standing. So in this case, it's just going to stay center exactly right down here where I moved it. If I want it exactly at the center again, I just double click the price scale and it is going to come back to that spot. There's another function which is kind of neat that I don't use, but you can also recenter when last price exceeds a certain number of ticks from the center. So let's say every time it moves four ticks in one direction, so one point on ES, I want it to recenter. So I click OK, and now you can see the chart is not moving, but once it moves four ticks in either direction, then the chart will go again and drag and recenter itself, okay? So see, you saw there, it moved down and now the chart automatically dragged itself down. I just set it to two ticks so it wouldn't take as long on the example, but right there you can see it pushed down two ticks and now the chart recentered, pushed back up two ticks, etc. Okay, so that is the second option. But again, I generally just like to do on every price update. So it's always keeping in the center. And this function is applicable on any chart that you want. Like I could even go on this uh, tick chart and I can right click, scale settings, recenter on every update. And now you can see the chart is just going to keep recentering itself every time that the price moves. The, it's right now a low volatility period on the day, so it's not moving uh, quite as aggressively, but you can notice how the price is just recentering itself automatically on every one of the price moves. Okay, so that's in a nutshell these settings. Again, normally this ones I just have it on 
manual mode, but depending what you want to do, you can always just use this functions in order to always recenter all your charts and keep the price always showing on the right edge, okay? If this has been useful, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.